fact check your recruiter. What's going on guys? So I've noticed a little change in my subscriber base over the past month or so and how a lot of you guys are starting to comment more about how you're going to go talk to a recruiter, how you're going to do this, how you're going to join the army next year or even in two years or so. And, I'm not, and I've noticed that kind of transition um, from the summer, which is usually you guys, um, most people, you know, they'll graduate from high school, then they'll go to basic training over the summer. Now that that time is kind of coming to an end, I've kind of noticed a lot of you guys commenting more. I've getting more and more subscribers of people who um, haven't even talked to, talked to a recruiter yet. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Joining the army or the military in general for the first time, whenever you're going through that, through that initial recruiting process is one of the most important and critical parts of your entire military career because you're literally picking your job, your career, the field that you're gonna go into, whether you're doing active duty or reserves, you know, whether you wanna do any extra schools or airborne or you wanna be option 40, you know, it's, it's a really, really big deal. And I don't want you guys to get um, screwed up by a recruiter kind of twisting words, maybe just twisting the truth just a little bit, or just the fact that recruiters don't know everything, right? So a lot of people, I mean, I did whenever I first left or when I first talked to a recruiter, you know, I thought, you know, this recruiter, you know, he's like an E6, he's been in the army for like six years, you know, he knows, he knows what's going on, he knows the deal. And, you know, if I ask him anything about any branch or whatever, he's gonna have the answer for me. And a lot of times they kind of, They'll say they have the answer or like they know what they're talking about, about, but the army's so big, there's so much stuff that it's impossible for any one recruiter to know everything. It's impossible for me to know everything and just being in for like two and a half years. So um, a really, 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 really important thing that I want you guys to do that's kind of came to my attention um, in the past couple days is fact check your recruiter, right? So whenever you go to a recruiter, some of you, you might have an MOS that you already want in mind, or you might not. So you might go to that recruiter and say, hey, what, this is something that I like, you know, what's something that you suggest, right? First of all, I don't recommend doing that because they're probably gonna, they, they probably, well, I don't say probably, they might tell you something that um, it's just something that the army needs and not something that you necessarily would like. But anyways, if you go to a recruiter and they tell you something, I really want to stress this to you guys, fact check your recruiter, okay? So they're gonna tell you things that sound like they're set in stone, that sound like you're gonna get this no matter what, you know? You're gonna get to do airborne after AIT. You're gonna get to do XYZ after AIT. You're gonna get to do this at some point in your career, you know, guaranteed it's gonna happen. You know, all you gotta do is just do this y XYZ um, and you're gonna do it. Well. A lot of things are just not that simple. A lot of things don't happen quickly, right? This is in the army, you know, things take a lot of time. There's a lot of paperwork involved. Things sometimes paperwork just gets lost and stuff like that. So things take a lot of time. And um, this kind of came across to me from, I got one of you guys who asked a question um, about his recruiter was telling him something about the army reserves and how you can switch units on drill, you know, just like, whenever you want and I'm just like this is that's that's totally not how it is and what the recruiter was talking about is when you RST with the unit so let's say for example um, you know my, my little sister is getting married in the next few months or so and let's say I have a drill weekend fall on the day of her wedding well what I can do is I can request the RST form I can fill it out and then I can send it in a month in advance or more than a month in advance of that drill weekend and then potentially I could go and either drill with another unit that's maybe drilling the next weekend or I could just like come during the week to my unit and just make up the day then this does not mean in any way shape or form that I can just whenever I want to oh I don't want to go to this unit this weekend you know i want to go to this other you cannot switch units right and the fact that this guy's recruiter told him that in the reserves you can just switch units whenever you want and one drill weekend you can go to this one and the next one you can go to that one that's totally not true and i'm so happy that you know he reached out to me and asked me that question because it kind of pisses me off that recruiters are out there saying things you know even if they believe it or not like this that's just not even 
feasible to me um but i mean there's other stuff that's going on something that i didn't do or i fell for was when my recruiter told me that i was going to get to do airborne after ait that you know i didn't have to get it in my contract that i had i could have done it you know guaranteed all i have to do is just ask my unit once i get done and i get back from ait and i was going to get to go totally not true i know a lot of you guys are being told that getting that smoke blowing up on your head like just anyways this video is starting to agitate me a little bit because um it really frustrates me that people will tell another person like this is a really big deal right so joining the military is really big deal and the fact that some people will tell people misinformation is really annoying to me um i don't like it all because i want you guys to go in the military and have that be a good experience right i want you guys to join get the job you want to get the branch you want if you want airborne i want you to get airborne if you don't want airborne i don't want you to get airborne i don't want you to get pressured into anything because um, not all recruiters are bad. Some recruiters, you might have a bad recruiter and they might try to pressure you into doing something. They might try to make you feel bad for not going active duty. And some of them will do that. And I just want you guys to understand that whenever a recruiter tells you something, um, if it's not in your contract, you know, once you get done talking to them, just be like, yeah, yeah, okay, that sounds great. Then go home, you know, ask me a question, you know, leave a comment on this video, like something that you think is a little off that your recruiter said, or just literally Google it. Like if you can find something about it or find something about, you know, OCS, I get a lot of questions about OCS, you know, just Google that, right? So if I don't know the answer, then I'll just let you know that I don't know the answer. Maybe you should Google it. I might point you in the right direction, send you a link or something like that, but fact check your recruiter. That's all I have to say is fact check your recruiter because it's just, extremely important for you to know all the information and know what you're getting into and not get surprised when you get to your unit and what your recruiter says is going to happen like oh yeah as soon as you get to your unit you can go apply for OCS and you know the next month you're going to be there like it's probably not going to work out that way so you guys just need to make sure that what they're telling you is something that's actually feasible um because a lot of things are a lot more difficult than they make out to make out to be. So that's it for this video. It was a little bit of a shorter one. Um, just to let you guys know, I might do more than likely a live stream either later today, which is Saturday, or tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm planning on doing it one of those two days. It'll kind of just work out with my schedule. It just depends on which one I do. Um, but yeah, so expect a live stream from me either tonight or tomorrow night, probably around seven ish p.m eastern standard time so if you guys um want to check that out that would be really cool so i can get on here and i can answer all your questions so if you have any questions about what your recruiter said then you know check out my live stream whenever i live stream if you enjoyed this video hit that like button that would be awesome if you want to stick around for some more videos later on hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys later Try.